Hi, thanks for joining us on Kasumnas River Preserve's guided virtual hike. We're going to start at the trailhead for both the Kasumnas River Walk and the Lost Slough Wetlands Walk. This bridge takes you across Willow Slough, which is connected to Kasumnas River. A slough is a river channel that has no outlet. The water in a slough is stagnant or may flow slowly. The sloughs at the preserve are influenced by the tides from San Francisco Bay. The bushes you see growing densely on both sides of the bridge are button bushes. Button bush flowers are clustered in white balls that resemble large buttons. On both sides of the bridge, you can also see a number of willow trees. Miwok Indians, the former inhabitants of this area, used willow poles for the underlying structure of their dwellings. Ahead and just beyond the trail signs are managed wetlands. These wetlands are flooded in the late fall and continue to have water throughout the winter and early spring, providing roosting and foraging habitat for hundreds of waterfowl, including the sandhill crane. Along this section of the trail, you can find two different types of blackberry bushes. The smaller blackberry plant with thinner white, purplish, or green stems and usually three leaflets is the native California blackberry. The bushes with red or green thick stems and five leaflets are non-native Himalayan blackberry bushes introduced to California from Western Europe. Usually the Himalayan blackberries will form large thickets that crowd out the native plant species. As you walk along the trail, you'll see ball-like structures that grow on the valley oak trees. These are called galls. Galls are formed when wasps lay their eggs in the bark of the oak tree. The tree forms tissue around the eggs, protecting itself from infection, and at the same time protecting the wasp eggs from predators. After the eggs hatch, the larva of the wasp eats some of the gall tissue. The formation of galls does not seem to harm the tree itself. This impressive tree to your left is a valley oak. This tree is likely 150 to 200 years old and was likely here when the Miwok Indians roamed the land. To the right is a pump station. This station provides water from the slough to the managed wetlands. This area provides you with a view of Middle Slough. Buttonbush, tulies, and sandbar willow line the channel of this slough. This tidal slough would have been a typical feature of the Delta 150 years ago. To the east of this trail are 30 acres of freshwater seasonal marsh that have been restored by the preserve. These marshes provide wintering habitat for migratory birds as well as habitat for non-migratory birds such as the red-winged blackbird. Along this part of the trail, you'll see a depression in the mud. Here is a river otter slide. River otters climb up the bank of the slough, cross the path, and feed in the marshland on the other side of the trail. Then they slide down this depression and back into the slough. Beavers also use this slide.
The end of part one of our guided virtual hike takes us to a viewing area where you can almost see the confluence of Middle Slough and the Kasumnas River. There used to be a trail here, but it has been closed due to frequent flooding and to preserve the wildlife habitat in this area. Thank you so much for joining us on this guided hike, and please look out for part two of our virtual guided hike of Kasumnas River Preserve.